day. Today we're going to show you how to create a Commvault cloud library using Cloudian Hyperstore object storage S3 compatible buckets. Mm -hmm. So let's get right into it. Uh, first of all, we're going to log into the Cloudian management console and go create our buckets. So I'm going to log in with the user ID that Commvault is going to use uh, for connectivity uh, with the Cloudian Hyperstore. We see we have a series of buckets already today. Uh, these are used for other demos. For the purpose of the demo of this demo, we're going to create some a couple of new buckets, S3 buckets. So I'll simply uh, very easy process enter the bucket name, uh, and I will leave everything else as as the default and create a new bucket. Create a new bucket. I will see that there's a new bucket created. I'm going to create a second bucket because our library is going to have two mount points, and we can use um, we can use uh, the two buckets uh, to store data into it. So by creating my two new buckets, I, I'll be able to uh, we'll be able to define those in Commvault. Another thing that we can of note while we're here, I can go take a look at my credentials, and in this panel, there's a few uh, items that are of interest when that we'll need uh, when uh, configuring our Commvault Cloud Library. First of all will be the endpoints we're going to use to connect uh, from Commvault to Cloud and Hyperstore. Uh, this is going to be, uh, we're going to require that. And also the access key and the secret key uh, that are available here as well. So this is a good thing to copy paste into maybe a text file so it's easy, easy to access. So for the for the purpose of the demo, we're kind of uh, done with uh, the um, management console for now. Uh, now we're going to go into uh, the Commvault command center to uh, define our library. So I will launch the command center from the start menu. Log in with the admin ID. And be presented with the uh, default dashboard. I'll go right into uh, storage uh, and cloud, and this is what we're going to define for our library. I have a couple of libraries already defined that are pointing to the other buckets uh, that we saw in the Cloudian command center. I will add a new library. We're going to define that as a cloud library, and here we can actually uh, define uh, the, our new library. So, new Cloudian library. Lib, uh, we can you can select whatever name you want to use here. We're going to make that a select out in hyperstore as uh, the uh, type of storage. You can select really in any media engine agents. I'll just use 01C for the purpose of this for this uh, demo. The server source is uh, the uh, the URL that we were pointing to earlier. So I'm going to go and. Get uh, enter the server source name here. Uh, select credential. This is where I would use our key and secret key, access key and secret key. In this case, Commvault already has an association, already knows about these keys. If uh, so, I'm going to select that. If you, if this is the first time you would set up, you would simply enter this panel first here. Give it an ID name, a, a credential name for future reference. Enter your access key and secret key here. And, and save it, and uh, you would be able to uh, use those keys at that point. I'm going to put the bucket name here uh, that we created, and I'm going to add a ddupe database location for this case. So I'm going to go and select a folder uh, on a media agent, and so this will be associated with a ddupe location, and simply save. And this will create my new Cloudian library in Commvault. So now we have seen that I have my new Cloudian library defined. And here we can actually add, go and add uh, my second mount point, very similar process. It's already selected Cloudian Hyperstore. Uh, we're going to select the same media agent again. Service host is the same. Same credentials again. Except here, I'm going to use my second bucket. And now we have my cloud and library actually defined uh, with uh, my two buckets. Um, 
we can actually do from the management console, we can view that now, if I go take a look at the buckets, Cloudy has actually entered uh, some data in some directory and directory structure already in, in both in these buckets by uh, simply doing the definition. Going back to the Cloud in, uh, sorry, the Combo Management Console. Now we have the ability to actually uh, add, share the um, library and the mount points with other media agents in my uh, Combo infrastructure. I do this by uh, clicking on the menu here, to selecting Add Media Agents. I'm going to select all remaining media agents as uh, for the purpose of the demo. And basically now that will create my library and my mind points that are in the library are uh, shared with all the agents. Once we have a storage uh, cloud library defined, we can now uh, go and define a plan that will actually uh, use the storage, uh, this new cloud library. So under uh, manage plans, you'll see that we have a few plans already there. You now I can actually create a new plan uh, for server backup plan in this case. And um, we can select a uh, new plan name. And as the backup destination, I can actually go and uh, select uh, a lot of um, available destinations. I'm going to go and use my new Cloudian lib destination as my primary uh, uh, destination for my primary copy of, of data. I'm just going to put the retention to one one day for the purpose of the of the uh, of the demo and uh, save it as well save it as such i'll do the rest of the default perfect now done so you'll see here in my new plan uh that with the retention the rpa the uh, definition i also have in my primary uh target location is my new cloud in uh, lib uh, that is defined there we're done for the demo. At this point, you would be able to associate this plan uh, with some uh, backup clients uh, to use this plan and be able to perform backups to the cloud library. Thank you for joining us.